Did you know that fat burning and fat loss are not the same thing? I did a video on this a while back around how there's no such thing as a fat loss kettlebell workout. But where these marketers will trip you up is they'll say, do this fat burning kettlebell workout. <laughs> not the same thing, my friend. Here's what I mean. Here's why it's not the same thing. When you hear fat burning, your perception is that that workout, that exercise is gonna make you lose weight, lose body fat. That's what you want, right? That's why you're strength training, that's why you're, that's why you start paying attention to what you're eating, is because you wanna lose some of that body fat. Why do you wanna lose body fat? Well, you wanna feel better. You know, when you look better, you feel better, right? You have a better outlook on your life, higher self-esteem, like it has, a, it has a, a big cascading effect. So when you hear fat burning exercises, you think, wow, I'm gonna lose body fat. No, fat loss or weight loss is a direct result of a caloric deficit. That's it. Being in a calorie deficit, that helps, that is the cause of weight loss. There is not an exercise in the world, not a kettlebell workout in the world that's gonna help you lose body fat. Sure, in the beginning, if you've got a lot of weight to lose and you start getting active, you start learning how to use a kettlebell, you lose some initial weight because you're increasing your activity, but eventually you plateau. Now, fat burning, completely different thing. Fat burning means that the majority of the energy that you're using from the calories that you've consumed are coming from fat sources. Doesn't mean that you're burning body fat. This concept that I teach our students in the academy I call it the RER fat loss equation. RER stands for respiratory exchange ratio. Here's how it works. <clears throat> Exercise at low to medium intensity burns fat. Doesn't burn body fat, it burns fat. So think about the food that you consume, right? Proteins, carbs, fats. Well, depending on the intensity at which you're exercising and at which you're training, whether it's jujitsu, whether it's kettlebell, doesn't matter. The intensity at which you're training, you will tap into a particular energy source. And it will be either from carbs or fat. And low intensity exercise, think about going for a long walk, slow and steady cardio, going for a jog, Jiu-Jitsu, you're just practicing, you're working on some drills. That's a low intensity exercise. That is going to burn fat based on the respiratory exchange ratio. That doesn't mean you're gonna lose body fat because only a caloric deficit is the cause of weight loss or fat loss. Burning fat is more from a performance perspective. So another thing that we teach our, our students in the academy is how to pair the right training method, let's say high intensity exercise or low intensity exercise, how to pair how you're training with the types of, with the how to pair with the right foods for optimal performance. And that's what the RER equation is all about. If you're following a keto lifestyle, which is high fats, moderate protein, little to no carbs, if you're performing high intensity exercise, that requires glucose. Your body seeks to burn sugar more than it wants to burn fat. So, if you're following high intensity exercise, like let's say you're rolling really hard in jujitsu, you're working on swings and snatches with very little rest periods, you're doing a snatch test, your body wants to burn glucose. The majority of the time it's burning glucose at that time. So having carbs in your diet at that moment is gonna be very beneficial. Doesn't mean that you're gonna lose weight. It doesn't mean you're gonna gain weight. You're just, the energy source you're gonna be burning is from carbohydrates or glucose. Now, if you're training at a low intensity, maybe you're just going for a walk. Maybe you're just working on deadlifts. Maybe you're doing some kettlebell swings, but you're doing like sets of three, sets of five every couple of minutes. You're not, your heart rate isn't very high. So it's not a very intense exercise. Well, best based on the respiratory exchange ratio, you're gonna be you're gonna be burning mostly fat, which means the energy that you're gonna pull from from the food that you've been eating, it's gonna pull from fat. 
Doesn't mean it's gonna be pulling from your stored body fat. Doesn't mean you're gonna lose weight. So that can be a very confusing thing for people when you, when you hear these fitness gurus say, oh, this fat burning kettlebell workout or this fat burning workout, whatever that is, that can be misleading. And I just wanted to jump on really quick and make you aware of that. There's no such thing as a fat loss kettlebell workout. That's pure marketing. If you want to lose body fat, if you want to lose your butt, trim your body fat percentage, you can't even trim your body fat percentage. If you want to drop body fat percentage, that's going to come from the quality and the quantity of the foods that you're eating. If you want to improve your performance, then you want to make sure that you're pairing the right eating strategy with the type of training that you're doing. If you're performing high intensity exercise, you want to have a higher carb diet. If you're performing lower intense, lower intensity exercises, higher fat diet, because that's the energy sources that it's going to pull from. But it does not mean that you're going to be burning body fat. It just means you're going to be burning fat as energy to perform your workouts. There you have it. There's no such thing as fat loss workout. That's the difference between fat burning and fat loss. If this video helped you out, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications for more busy dad strength training tips. And if you need more help on how to build a stronger and leaner, more capable body so you can do more of what you enjoy, click the link in the description area and download your free four-week strength program.